Welcome to a video on learning twine. In this video, I'm going to cover variables in the SugarCube story format. In SugarCube, variables come in two types, story and temporary. A story variable starts with a dollar sign and exists from when it is created to when a story is closed in the browser. A temporary variable starts with an underscore and, like its name implies, only exists from when it is created to when the passage in which it was created is no longer being shown. Variables are created using the set macro. This sets a variable to some value. Once set, the value of a variable can be used in a passage through including it. For example, you can see you can now see these words. Temporary variables are created and used in the same way. As we can see, these words looks like those words. Let's look at this code. Coming to story map view, let's start at the first passage, the beginning. Similar to how I read, it has the same textual content. The code, though, is different here. The first code we see here is using the set macro, set the variable to some value. So we're setting the variable story value to the value these words. It is a story variable because it starts with a dollar sign. And we're setting it to the string these words. The second code is down here using another instance of the set macro. In this case, we're using a temporary variable, setting it to those words. And as we saw right above that, for example, you can now see these words. So we can show the value of a variable by using its name and indicating whether or not it's a story or temporary variable using the dollar sign underscore within the text of a passage. The same as a story variable, just like here, is a temporary variable produced in the same way. As we can see, story value looks like temporary value. And as we saw, coming back to the presentation here, as we can see, these words looks like those words. Coming back to the presentation and moving on to another passage, we can see some new text. However, only story variables are retained when moving between passages. While we can see these words, we cannot see temporary variable. This is different, as I will note here, between Harlow. When using a temporary variable in a new passage in which it does not exist, because they only exist within the passages in which they are created, SugarCube will show the name instead of showing the value. In this case, we know it's an error because instead of showing the value of this, it just shows the name of this. So C underscore temporary value. And it doesn't exist because it only exists within the scope of the time in which the first passage, the beginning in which it was created, and no longer exists. So this is the difference between Harlow and SugarCube as it comes to temporary variables. Unlike Harlow again, SugarCube understands JavaScript data types. Beyond the more common strings and data values, that is, numbers and characters and punctuation, or numerical values, SugarCube also understands arrays and property values. As we see here, the value of the first entry is 2. We can see these words. Let's go look at that code. Closing the passage editor of the beginning and moving over to opening types of values, we can see what I was just talking about, JavaScript data types that SugarCube understands. Using the set macro here, we can set the story variable new array to an array. This is a JavaScript data type. And we're setting entries here 2, 4, and 6 in order. That's the zero, first, and second entries in this array. And we can see here using array index 0, we can see the value 2. The value of the first entry is 2, which we just saw. Coming back here, we can also now see properties. So we can create a new object, set it to empty brackets, which creates a new object in JavaScript. We can also create a new property using dot notation, set it to these words, and then see that same new variable and its new value by including it just like we did in the beginning to see that value. And again, this is a major difference between Harlow and SugarCube. Harlow understands basic or general data types, strings, and numerical values. However, SugarCube understands additional JavaScript data types, arrays, and properties, as well as the more basic strings and data types. 
This has been a review of variables in SugarCube. Similar to Harlow, or Harlow and SugarCube similar to each other, both can use story variables, variables that are created and exist until the end of the story, and temporary variables, which only exist during the length that the passage in which they are created is shown. SugarCube differs from Harlow because it also understands additional types of values. It understands JavaScript data types such as arrays and properties, as well as a number of other ones that aren't included in this video that you can use in SugarCube that you cannot use in Harlow because it doesn't understand them. Thanks for watching.